So my Power App starts with uh, raw data that's stored as uh, tables in an Excel file. So there's three tables here. Uh, and then I've got a data connector uh, that connects to an Azure function. Uh, the Azure function was built in Visual Studio with, with C Sharp. Azure function allows me to um, uh, generate a 3D file from, uh, from a data array. So I've got, uh, in this case, I've got five different uh, uh, examples here. The first one's manual. So this actually just has a, a, a 1D array of data um, that is formatted as a 2D 4x4. It fetches that uh, and comes back uh, here in a moment with a, uh, a 3D file um, that I've got access to. Uh, and that uses parameters to decide what are the starting colors um, for the base uh, bottom here. Uh, so that will be in this case, uh, we can make that uh, green um, and then uh, it goes to, let's use uh, blue. And then uh, you can see it just immediately pulled that uh, uh, data right back. You can also uh, increase the, the height of, uh, uh, as it fills out that one by one by one meter um, uh, object. Uh, so that's coming from data that's stored within the, uh, the Power App itself. Uh, I can also create some uh, random uh, data. So that's what's happening here is it's just going and uh, fetching 100 random records uh, just for testing. Um, and then this is the data that's coming from uh, the, uh, the, the file, the, the Excel file. So this is this uh, sine one. It's not actually a sine wave, but it's data generated from uh, uh, some sine functions. So I can update that. Uh, it updates the size, the X, Y position. I fetch that data. And, uh, and this is what that 3D um, graph looks like that it just created. Uh, and then I've got one that is a, uh, I was calling it smile, but basically it's again, a um, uh, set of data here. It's easier to see here. And you can see that there is a problem that even though uh, the data is coming in, there's a, the, uh, there's, a, there's a, looks like it's, it's divided uh, the, the data in a strange way. Uh, and that was unexpected. Um, if you can look over here at the smile one, uh, there is uh, 0.1s and then there is uh, ones here, ones here, and then ones for the smile. And bringing that data over, uh, uh, there's, there's, there's something that's not quite right, uh, but that's what that is. And then I've got this other one which, which uses some COVID data. Uh, and so this is a, a set of records um, that represents uh, the uh, infection rate and the deaths rate for the United States. Um, uh, given uh, the start. So we get a look, look at the graph of what that looks like and compare the two. Um, and so when I pull that in and uh, fetch that data, that comes up as this, uh, this graph. And you can see that there's the slope between those, the, the rate of change of uh, infections and deaths is very, very similar. And you can see that visually. Uh, and then of course, with all of these, you could view those in MR um, as a final step. Now to see that same thing on device, we can load the file uh, from the random data and then click uh, the view and MR button, place that in our space and see it from various angles. As a review, we had uh, tables in an Excel file. Uh, those were stored in OneDrive. We used the OneDrive data connector. Uh, we also had an Azure function that was used to generate the 3D models. We had a custom data connector, uh, and then that was all connected via PowerApps.